If you are considering a position as an agile coach in an organization and you just landed the interview, here are some 10 questions for you to ask them. Because I want you to remember that you are interviewing them as much as they are interviewing you. And I would say that these questions also work if maybe you are looking for a position as an agile manager or even as a scrum master. So let's get started. So often in interviews, we get so stressed and we want to give that good impression and we over prepare and we think about all the things that we can answer. But I would encourage you to think the other way around as well. What do you really need to know about that company to be successful from the get go, but also to make the important decision of do I really want to accept working with them? So I hope these 10 questions will really give you a perspective on how you could interview that job and see if you really want them. You learn a lot in the process and you get to showcase what you know as well. So here they are. Question number one, is this a new position? Why? Not only do you get a sense that, okay, are they expanding into agility and I'm going to join a team, which can be really great, or am I going to be working alone? You get to understand those things, but also maybe they are not expanding into agility and they're actually just replacing a position with you. And if you're replacing someone, you really want to know why did the person leave? Why are you replacing them? Question number two is why do you need an agile coach? What do you expect me to do? This one will definitely help you align how you see the role of an agile coach. I mean, you will grasp their current maturity in agility because it's very different that they expect you to come and teach people. Do you give training as well? Uh, you're going to be embedded in teams. What kind of teams are you going to support? So once you ask about the expectations of the role, they will kind of go a little bit beyond that cookie cutter thing that they put on the job posting. And that leads to question number three, who will I support? That includes, are these only individual level that I'm coaching? Am I coaching on team level? all the hierarchies? Do I have access to the C-suite? You know, you are expected to coach at organizational level as well as team level. You really want to be clear on what is the playing field that you have so that you understand the skills that you bring to the table and that you can then actually ask more questions to continue to understand the landscape of the coaching that you'll be doing around. Question number four is how long has the company been using Agile? You would expect that a company that says they've been using Agile for quite some time to be at a certain maturity level. And then you gauge, and if they aren't at that maturity level, you can then probe for the reasons why they're not. You know, what are the reasons, uh, what are the issues, despite running Agile for so long, you're still not collecting those good results. That gives you a great insight on the culture as well. And likewise, you're gonna get a lot of insight if they say, hey, we're just starting, you know you have a lot of work from the ground up to be doing that. Question number five is what Agile framework do you use? That is always good to know because most organizations, they will start with a framework in place and maybe it's one that you know and that's great opportunity for you to shine. Maybe it's one you've never used before and you know you might as well just get accustomed with the idea of learning that one. Or maybe, the organization runs framework neutral agility, which is my favorite, and it does exist. Question number six, how excited or how resistant to agile is everybody in the organization? This one is really important. You want to understand as soon as you can, where are the pockets of excitement where there are, because those are the ones that will grow with you by affinity and where you can collect all those uh, quick wins. And you also want to see if there are groups that you kind of know will resist you a little bit in the beginning, and then you know how to behave accordingly as well. Question number seven is, do you work remotely, hybrid or in person? Not only this one is good for yourself because maybe you want to just be fully remote or not, um, but it will also be good for you to understand the lives of the team that you support. You know, every one of these conditions, they bring their own difficulties and their own opportunities. And you really want to be able to be making a more informed decision, not only for yourself, but about the conditions of the teams and how you are going to best serve them. 
Question number eight is what tools do you use? One of the most ignored agile principles is agile principle number five, which says, give the teams, the people, the tools and support they need and trust them with the job uh, to be done. And you know, you want to make sure that your team has available to them remotely or in person, great tools. Everything can be worked around tools. They are not be all and all, but you want to make sure that at least the expectations of what is demanded of the teams matches the level of support that the organization is giving them as far as tools and processes around. Question number nine, where do you use agile? Most companies will be using agility in their delivery pipeline. So if they have software development teams, you bet they are running in agile. And for the most part, companies that are doing product development in general will be using agility in their, like I said, delivery pipeline. Now there is such a thing as agile people manifesto, and there are ways of bringing agility to other departments as well. Those that really support the whole experience in the organization, HR, uh, customer support, operations, etc. And the thing is that all the departments that are on the sideline of agile, they're not using agile. They will be a point where all the other teams slow down. They will be the weakest link in the whole chain of the organization. And then question number 10, what do you expect from me in the first 90 days? 90 days or three months is a great period for defining success. You're still new to the company and then you are still able to adapt, but also it's long enough for you to have made some progress with the people that you support. It also lets you know if they have a clear focus for you and for your work, or if they're kind of like more lost and maybe, maybe completely clueless and actually waiting for your input on how to best utilize your talent once you come on board. So there you are. Those are the 10 questions I suggest you ask in some shape or form once you land that job interview as an agile coach. Remember that you are interviewing them as much as they are interviewing you. Believe in your talent and you get to decide where is the place that you want, you want to work at. So don't just accept the job. Make sure you understand the landscape of where you are inserting yourself into. So I hope this video was useful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.